So there's a lot more coming for creators in 2024. And some of those features are much better shown in person and in a live demo than me just talking about them. So why don't we welcome Pat and Michael to the stage and they can show you more. Hey everyone. All right, thank you, Sax. You mentioned the evolution of UBFN, and now we'd like to share a project that we've been using to drive that progress. Hey, Michael. Hi, everybody. Here we are running live in UBFN, and Michael's playing for us. We're surrounded by just a handful of the prefab buildings and props you can find in the content folder of every project. But if you can't find the exact theme or the art style that you're after, you're going to need to customize. For example, what if you wanted to make a game set on a classic 1970s style sci-fi spaceship? Let's step into this rift and show you what can happen. Welcome to the Talisman, a deep space cargo vessel. We built this ship to show you how unique your world can look when you create high quality custom assets and bring them into your UBFN experience. Hey Michael. Yeah. Can we get Bright Bomber back? We still need a player to help us look around. I think she should be dropping in soon. Oof, okay. Maybe not the most elegant entrance ever, but she made it. And now we can start to explore the ship. Straight away, we're switching off the Fortnite HUD with the HUD controller device so we can show you more of our environment. As Sax mentioned earlier, cameras are also one of the things that can be customized in UEFN. For example, with the new Orbit camera device, we can push way in, past the player entirely. Let's use this camera to explore the crew quarters. All right, this view allows you to focus more on what the player's looking at, and it's helpful if you're interested in making more narrative style games. All right, how about we compromise and back out halfway so we can see more of our player again? All right, great. Now we're moving across the hall to the common room in the galley. I'm excited for you to see the complexity of lighting in these rooms. We're optimizing for lumen by selectively disabling shadows, reducing light overlap, and swapping in light functions for geometry shadows. Customizing the look and feel of your UEFN game is going to be a consistent theme in 2024 and beyond. Combining release devices and verse code as we are here gives you the control and the freedom to make your experience unique. That verse code you just saw actually has to do with assigning our player a quest. We're going to trigger it using several standard devices. But instead of going back to the Fortnite UI, we've styled the pop-up messages and the maps to fit our sci-fi experience. All right, you'll notice there's a waypoint on the map for us now. So we've got a mission to find our crew, so let's get moving. It's worth noting, even though we're showcasing a tremendous amount of detail inside the ship, the total environment still checks in under 200 megs. It's incredible that you can get this level of visual detail in that size profile. And to achieve this, we're relying on a combination of mid-poly kit bash parts, fully procedural materials, and mesh decal. With efficient build techniques, you can make big games fit into small packages. All right, according to our mini-map, our objective's waiting for us on the other side of that door over there. Let's go check it out. I'm glad you're here. The crew's been waiting for you, and we're ready to help you build what's next. Come on, let's go. That's right, metahumans are now available for import into UFN as non-player characters. <clears throat> Thank you. So, Michael's jumped us back into the editor so we can get a look at our captain behind the scenes. As you can see, we carefully optimize for both quality and efficiency. We've gone from almost one gig for a hero metahuman down to approximately 60 megs in UEFN with an average complexity hairstyle. And we wanted to make this process as easy as possible. You just save your custom metahumans in the metahuman creator. This captain character was based on the Rue metahuman preset. Once you have your creations saved in My Metahumans, they'll be available to you in our new Metahuman Importer in UEFN. And depending on your project's requirements, there are also multiple quality options for you to choose from. Now, we can't talk about Metahumans without also addressing the workflow creators use for creating costumes. There are many ways to author clothing, but in this case, we're using Marvelous Designer, a leading digital clothing software. In fact, we worked with our friends at Clo, the makers of Marvelous Designer and Clo 3D, to integrate our Metahuman body data into their software and provide a new USD export option for your garments. That export includes geometry, materials, and the data you need for simulation setup. 
Now on screen, you're seeing the garment that was exported from Marvelous Designer being brought into the cloth panel editor in UE 5.4, and from there, we're setting up custom chaos simulations that have realistic cinema quality looks. As part of this tech in the upcoming UE 5.4, we're introducing an auto sim setup that has sim data and ingest, auto LOD generation, and auto skinning. In addition, you always have the option to take a more bespoke approach like we have here if you want more iterations and finer control. Okay, cloth physics are available in UEFN as early access starting today, and now we'd like to show you how easy it is to dress a metahuman character. Michael's gonna demonstrate this for us live in the UEFN editor. All right, take it away, Michael. Thanks, Pat. So the first thing we're gonna do is hide the default outfit that came in from MetaHuman Creator. Next, we'll add a new uh, Chaos Cloth component. This allows us a place to drop our new dynamic uh, cloth object. This was actually created in Marvelous Designer, set up in UE 5.4, and imported here into UEFN. Now that we have that, let's uh, add a new animation. So we can see how the cloth moves. Then we come down to the cloth, turn on Simulate, and just like that, we have moving cloth here inside UEFN. <laughs> All right, cool. So from there, our metahuman is ready to be used in the game. And we're really excited to offer cloth physics in UEFN for the first time. It's so important for creating convincing characters. And you're not limited to clothing on characters. You can use cloth physics anywhere in your environment. At last year's State of Unreal, you saw the power of MetaHuman Animator in UE, and we're pleased to say that those same tools are now available to creators in UEFN. And don't forget, using our latest character device, you can also add a performance to some of your favorite Fortnite characters. You might have seen this in the recent Joke Night experience produced by Trevor Noah. For getting capture data into UEFN, we recommend using our new LiveLink Hub application. This allows almost all capture devices that can stream to UE5 to also stream directly into UEFN and get recorded there. Even more third-party devices will be supported in LiveLink Hub soon. What's next for the Talisman is really up to you as creators. It's just one example of the many worlds that you might be dreaming of building for your next game. We've presented a workflow you can use to make compelling characters and a much clearer path for dynamic clothing. Really excited to see what comes next. MetaHumans as NPCs and cloth physics are available in UEFN today and the Talisman uh, environment is playable in our booth here at GDC. It'll be released as a template soon. We also have a tech talk here at 3.30 p.m. this afternoon that explores the techniques we use to create this project. Thank you. Sax, turn things back over to you. Thank you both. Huge thank you to everyone who built the demo. And it, it's so awesome to see MetaHumans finally make their way to UEFN. And to celebrate that, we're starting next month, UEFN creators will get a one-year license to Marvelous Designer for free to clothe the digital humans in UEFN. 